What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Panda here and today we're playing some Watch of Realms. Guys, I have some crazy, crazy news. You're never going to believe it. Uh, you actually probably will believe it because I, I, I've made a lot of these videos in the last couple weeks. We made more progression and I'm excited to talk about it. So let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Guys, we hit 20k Nightmare 4. For the first time this is technically actually the second time i hit it the other day um but uh, i had stream so i'm making this video after stream so we did our second hit and we were able to actually pump this up a little more our first hit was twenty thousand five hundred. our second hit over 20k was this 21k uh number uh which i think is phenomenal we are on day 41 we hit it on day 40 um which I think is a huge progression. I'm not sure, you know, if anyone's gotten here before, maybe someone has, but I'm pretty, pretty proud of myself for being able to hit this number. Uh, it's phenomenal. So a real quick breakdown. You'll see here, of course, we have Zilla 2, the guild boss queen, doing a ton of damage here, 42 million. Uh, and then, of course, we have our Valeria, who's doing a respectable 24. Uh, and then we have the others are, are pretty low, but doing decent numbers, 18.5, 17.1, 16.3, and 12.6. Something that is to keep in, something that is important to keep in mind, in case you didn't know this, um, damage to the shield does not count on this damage stat, because this only calculates the damage dealt to the boss. Um, so, for example, when you use Pyro's ultimate and Cetrum's ultimate, Cetrum deals a ton of damage to the shield, but then his ultimate runs out bef like right as the shield or right before the shield goes away. And so he's actually in his repair mode for a good chunk of the damage st uh, phase of the fight. While as, if you look over here at our Zilla 2, she has a very, very, very long uptime on her ultimate. And so because of that, she stays in her ultimate throughout that whole phase. So she does a lot more damage because of that. Um... Something else to keep in mind is skill ups are very, very important. So Nocturne also has a very long ultimate, but my Nocturne's not all the way skilled up. I don't know if I can see it from here. I can. Nope, that's my Pyros, though. Uh, here's my Nocturne. So my Nocturne's not fully skilled up, right? We're missing two on the basic, two on the ultimate, three on the first passive, and three on the second passive, right? While as my Zilla 2 is very close to fully skilled up, right? Max basic uh max second passive one off the first passive and one off the ultimate so there's even more room to grow especially this one because this damage increase 40 percent is a lot of damage uh especially when paired with the pyros ultimate right so there's definitely a lot of room to grow we also have skill ups here on our valeria so i don't think we're very far off from hitting that next milestone which is 25k blood in nightmare 4 so that you can two key the top chest of nightmare 4. i think that's probably going to be our next goal one of the big things i think that helped us push in this progression is you'll see some kind of random characters in here particularly our Navras. and the reason why this is a sort of quote unquote random character is two things one Navras is a nightmare unit two Novris is a platform nightmare unit. Three, I don't use him anywhere else. And four, that means I can put him in an invigoration set. You know, if you don't know what invigoration set is, invigoration is a set bonus you get from farming gear raid two on stage 19, 20, and 21. And it has a very, very good set bonus. It has a healing effect plus 25, which we don't care about. And it also has when deployed, the hero and one random ally in range gain 10% attack. Now, if you do this properly, you can guarantee that it goes on a specific person. So, for example, I use Navris to give my Cetrum a 10% attack buff. I use my Wrath, who's not on my team, he's not on my board at all, to give my Zillatu a 10% attack buff. And so because of that, I'm able to get a lot more damage out of my two main damage dealers here, right? Again, Zillatu is my main boss damage dealer that gets me the blood. My Cetrum is my main shield damage dealer who breaks that shield and allows me to get into that damage state faster. And so because of that, we're able to get a lot of progression because of that 10% attack. It's very, very powerful. Something else to keep in mind is that that 10% attack, as far as I'm aware, is based off the attack once you are inside the stage. So anything you have that's going to give you bonuses, such as ancestral teachings is going to be multiplied by this 10 percent because this happens as soon as you place him on the field so he's got 12.7k attack he gains this 16 percent bringing him up to whatever that number is 
And then he gets another 10% on top of that, making it so that this 16% gives even more value. I think that that's something that's really important for everybody to know. Um, and then another thing here is it's really all about timing, placements, using of ultimates, etc. So for example, we have our hollow here and our hollow is built a very specific way. She's built with relatively low attack. This is still pretty high because I just have a lot of attack percent stats on here. Um, right? Like I, I, I had no other piece of gear that was better than this that gave me the stats I was looking for. Um, so unfortunately we do have a little more attack than I would like, but our goal is as much attack speed and as much rage regen as possible so that we can get back to her ultimate to give her uh, to have her rage skill activate um, so that we can have more and more ultimates throughout. We're not quite to the point where Pyros can do two ultimates in one Zilla 2 ultimate. We're very close, but we're not quite there. So I need to get a little more rage regen through my hollow and potentially some more rage regen in my Pyros's gear. Now I did use this gear for this run, as you can see, but I did do some other changes where I did swap into a more rage regen heavy build where we had a slightly less attack speed, but still at that 1.2 um, attacks per second. Um, and we had about 70 or so percent rage regen. And even with that, without hollow ultimate, I was not able to get there. And even with hollow ultimate, I was getting there near the very, very, very end of Zilla 2's ultimate. And so because of that, it didn't seem worth it because I was losing a large chunk of damage from Pyros. As you can see here, Pyros did about 12.6 million on this run. Um, and without this set using the Rage Regen set, he was only doing about eight or nine. So it was a pretty large damage loss and Zilla 2 was gaining maybe 1 million, which is a very small number and obviously is less than the three or so million I was losing from Pyros. So eventually we'll get to the point where we have our hollow max skilled and we're giving quite a bit more rage regen and that will change. Uh, and that may also be the answer for hitting that 25k and obviously eventually that 30k mark. Something else that's also important is um, I am very excited because I will have a video on this a little bit later, but we also have a 10x coming up with Laurel. And I think Laurel could be a game changer for my account because of her um, removal skill, which I'm not actually sure where it is. Um... I don't know where it is. She gains a she gains the ability to uh, be removed, and when she's removed, she grants rage to everybody. Uh, oh, it's right here. Additionally, upon death, provides surrounding allies with a restoration of 50% of their rage cap upon death. That works when you remove the character from the field, and so because of that, you're able to give yourself a ton of rage, and that'll help a lot if I'm able to get her on the 10x um, with my ability to do Pyros Ultimates. So I'm definitely going to be pulling on that, and hopefully we'll be able to make another one of these videos with me hitting 25k or maybe even 30k if we can get the damage right on our characters. I'm also going to be doing a ton of AMR over the next two days. Hopefully that means we can get lucky and get something like a Crystal of Vileness, maybe even two, one for both my Valeria and my Zilla 2. That would be nice. Um, we'll have to see. Maybe we can pick up another Messenger for my uh, Cetrum. We'll just have to kind of see what that looks like, but we hopefully should be able to make even more progression here in the very near future, allowing us to be able to hit that 25 or 30k blood mark. Something that is a little bit sad is, unfortunately, we have not been able to hit the 20k mark on Nightmare 3, and you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't make any sense, but if you've played the game for a while, you kind of understand why that makes sense. Unfortunately, Nightmare 4 20k happens quite a bit before Nightmare 3 does, and the reason is, is because breaking the shield gives you a larger sum of blood on Nightmare 4 than it does on Nightmare 3. So because of that, you're looking at needing to hit about 22 to 23k blood on Nightmare 4 before you're going to hit that number on Nightmare 3 because you're gaining about 2 to 3k blood on Nightmare 4 from the breaking of the shields over all three of them. So there is definitely some room to grow. There is a lot of progression to be had, and I'm very excited to continue with this progression. Hopefully, I can come out with a full kind of breakdown of guild boss and what I recommend uh, so that you guys can kind of have a good understanding. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you guys would like. I can kind of go over what each character brings and potential people you could swap out in place of those characters. Um, I think that could be really helpful. But of course, I understand 
it, there are specific comps that everyone kind of wants to go for and of course you have to build around what you have access to so let me know if that's something you guys would like in the comment section down below but this was just a real quick update video i know we're coming in on about 10 minutes now so it took a little longer uh, than expected but i'm very excited about this uh it's been a, a huge uh, progression point for my account which we have those all the time eventually we'll stop with that because we'll have reached the end game um but if you liked this video please don't forget to leave a like on the video and if you want to see more content from me in the future please hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace